Well, time now for a look at what else happened in politics today. The Defense Minister Bill Blair announced billions in new spending today. It includes over $11 billion in training aircraft and contracts for the RCAF, and also over $2.5 billion in new vehicles for the Army. The announcement was made at a defense trade show in Ottawa. It comes just days after a group of U.S. Senators urged the Trudeau government to meet NATO's 2% of GDP commitment, and as Blair continues to tout his government's new defense policy. This policy makes it very clear that job number one is defending Canada and North America. It makes clear that our most immediate task is to protect every inch of our sovereign territory in the face of growing security challenges, especially in our Arctic and northern regions. And to be clear, if we are going to be a good partner in NATO, and in NORAD, and in the Indo-Pacific, and around the world, we must be strong at home so that we can be strong around the world. To Stockholm now, where the Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie met with her Swedish counterpart Tobias Billström. The two talked about their support for Ukraine's defense and their mutual concerns on Arctic security. Canada and Sweden both share the fact that we're in the same neighborhood as Russia, and to that extent, we need to address that threat. For a long time, Arctic nations, particularly through the Arctic Council, have developed a high north, low tension approach. And the Arctic agenda and also our security agenda were different. Now we need to make sure that these two agendas are aligned. This is Minister Jolie's first visit to Sweden since it joined NATO earlier this year. She will travel to Czechia tomorrow for a meeting of NATO foreign ministers. The Prime Minister's office announced Justin Trudeau will travel to Italy next month to participate in the G7 summit. In a statement, the PMO says the Prime Minister and other world leaders will address the conflicts in Ukraine and the Middle East. They will also talk about the challenges of climate change and foreign interference. After Italy, the Prime Minister will travel to Switzerland to take part in the summit on peace in Ukraine. It comes down to this. Nothing bad happens when you lower the federal voting age to 16. It's all good. That is Senator Mary Lou McFedrin, and she is sponsoring a Senate bill that would lower the voting age to 16. Currently, in its second reading, advocates say dropping the voting age would boost civic engagement among youth, and that younger Canadians should also have an electoral voice on issues that affect them. A similar private member's bill was defeated in the House of Commons in 2022. And finally, in New York, jurors have begun deliberations in former U.S. President Donald Trump's hush money trial. Trump is facing 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. They are in relation to an alleged payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Prosecutors allege Trump deliberately falsified the records in order to conceal a payment of $130,000 to Daniels. And in exchange, she was to keep quiet about an alleged affair between the two. Trump's defense says the prosecution has not proven their case beyond reasonable doubt.